tipsters and tricksters, welcome back to my channel. I am going to level with you. I'm not feeling very good today, but I want to keep my channel going because it is a source of joy and creativity. And even on days like this, when I don't feel like doing anything and I'm feeling quite down in the dumps and this whole situation is really getting to me, this whole situation is just, I don't know, some days I'm doing okay and just trying to be present and other days are just like, oh my God, honestly, f this. <laughs> and today is one of those days. So I just had a shower and I've done some yoga and meditation to just try and make myself feel a bit better. Maybe I'll do my hair and makeup and put clothing on. I don't know. Sometimes that makes me feel better, but I just kind of feel like maybe today I don't have the energy for that. How are you guys? Anyone else feeling like me? I don't want to bring your mood down, but I think Sometimes it helps to be realistic about how you're feeling as well. When I'm feeling like this, sometimes watching other people who are seemingly doing totally fine and looking fabulous and being productive and all of that kind of makes me feel a little bit like shit. And I wanted to be real with you guys and admit that not every day is like that for me. Uh, just in case <laughs> that's making you feel like shit. <laughs> I think I might try and tidy up my space a bit. I mean, we've been pretty good about cleaning things up, but I think I might fold washing. We've washed the washing, but we haven't folded it up. It's my least favorite thing to do, but I always feel better once it's done because the space is clear and clean. And I think I might bake some cookies today. That sounds appealing. A little treat. I'm not very good at baking, so don't get your expectations up, but I'll give it a go. So I guess I'll bring you guys along for that. If you feel like sticking around, if I'm bringing your mood down, then that's okay. See you in the next video that's more polished and like normal to my channel. But for those of you who are in lockdown like me and feeling a little bit down in the dumps, come and spend the day with me. I'm not going to grizzle and groan. I'm just going to be real and have a blah day. <laughs> Something as simple as just blow drying your hair sometimes can make you feel so much better. So as you can see, I have an enormous pile of washing and more in the lounge room to clear up. So I think I will get onto that because I know that's going to make me feel better. Even though at the moment I definitely don't feel like folding washing. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but I just felt like doing something to fix my hair while I chatted to my friend on the phone. <laughs> so there we go. This is not a look I've ever gone for before. <laughs> it's very like 50s housewife. I feel I feel very Mad Men actually. I think I like it. I don't mind it. Outfit of the day. Bare feet, capris, and a Fraser Pinewood top. Some pearls, also not usually my jam. And this kind of early 60s housewife updo and makeup. And there you go. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go make some lunch because I'm really hungry now and I feel quite a lot better. I don't feel quite as down in the dumps as I did thanks to a lovely chat with my friend and getting a little bit glammed up.
it helps. Just got a super lazy lunch. You guys can't really see it, but it's just pasta with jar tomato sauce, rocket, some vegan cheese grated in, and some olives. Wouldn't say it's a particularly nutritious meal. Definitely doesn't check all the boxes, but it's about all I could be bothered with right now. So I said that I was gonna make some cookies. I have been threatening to make these for several days now and our neighbors very kindly brought us some lovely semolina cakes. They're a Greek couple and the guy is a chef and that's a little intimidating, but very kind. My baking skills pretty much suck, but I'm not going to bring myself down before I make some cookies today. So hopefully I will outdo myself, which wouldn't be hard to do, to be honest, but let's give it a go. So it says three quarters of a cup of vegan butter. That's like my entire thing of butter. Oh well. Sacrifices you make, huh? I'm gonna cut this up and assume that about three quarters of the pack is three quarters of a cup. So I saw a trick online to use a food processor, so I'm going to try that. So apparently, if you use the food processor, you don't have to melt the butter. I'm already trying to cheat my way through baking. This, guys, is why I'm not great at baking. <laughs> So three quarters of a cup of butter, three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. Okay, I hope I have enough sugar. I'm just using what I have left in the house pretty much. Oh yeah, it should be okay. Okay, I'm gonna clean some things up and go and blend this in the food processor and I'll be back. I have creamed together the sugar and the butter. What does it say to do next? Add the molasses, vanilla extract, and mix in. Then add the flour, pumpkin by spice, baking soda, ground ginger, and salt, and mix until cookie dough forms. Okay, so let's put in the quarter cup fancy molasses. One teaspoon vanilla extract. I call this Julian Solomita style cooking. I don't follow any instructions. It's gluten-free, so there's already two things that are very dangerous to be doing to a recipe. And you know, a lot of his stuff turns out well, so I'm just gonna see what happens, okay? I'm gonna go blend this up. Then add the flour. Okay, let's hope I have enough flour. Uh, uh. So this is half a litre, so it's two cups. I'm like a cup short. <laughs> okay, I have buckwheat flour. It's not even remotely what I should be using and I'm probably going to mess up this whole recipe, but I'm just going to try. Also don't have baking soda, but I have egg replacer, which has baking soda in it. So Let's try that. <laughs> then it says two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. I don't have pumpkin pie spice, but I have cinnamon and I have ginger. So we shall put that in. Yes, that's ginger. Always a good idea to check that you're putting the right spice in. I would hate to put caramel or coriander into my molasses cookies. That would be interesting. Quarter of a teaspoon of salt. I mean, so far so good. I don't have any of the correct ingredients, <laughs> but we'll see what happens. <laughs> what are you making? Molasses cookies. I've used all of our butter. I've used all the flour and I don't have the rest of the ingredients. <laughs> so it's gonna be interesting. Oh, and I didn't have enough flour. So I mixed it with buckwheat flour. <laughs> I don't think he believes in the power of hope. <laughs> I want you to believe it. <laughs> but you don't? <laughs> Sorry, but no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, he's so much confidence in me. I also don't have parchment paper. Don't judge me guys, it is the time of coronavirus. I can't just leave my house and get what I want to buy to do baking, okay? We went shopping yesterday. Yesterday I wasn't planning on baking. I can't just leave the house again today. I'm supposed to shop once a week. So, we're just gonna have to make do, okay? All right, let's do this. Two tablespoons, about two tablespoons. It does seem pretty dry, I'm not gonna lie, but be all right. The perfectionist in me doesn't care about the recipe but does want the balls to be round. I just want to eat cookies guys. I really just want cookies. It is buckwheat flour and gluten-free flour both of which are like very crumbly and very very fine. So it's kind of coming out like this which you know it's not too bad. I can handle that. Well, here we are with my tray of interesting cookies. Let's put them in the oven and see how this goes. Okay, so I've put a couple of cookies on the plate and we're gonna try them. I have a better tolerance for shitty gluten-free food than Val, so his opinion of the cookie I'm guesstimating is probably not gonna be great. But he's obviously very keen to have a cookie because he keeps grabbing at them. So let's give it a go. There's almond milk to dunk in if you want. You can try. Okay. It's gonna be very crumbly, so I would eat it over the plate. <laughs> <laughs> Is it terrible? <laughs> I would prefer to, to die from that than something else. But I feel like it's not cooked at all. No. no. I cooked it much longer than the recipe called for. The taste is good. The texture is just really freaking weird. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Do you want to put it in? It's very much like Holva. Mm -hmm. Bizarre. Like really bizarre. I'm still eating it. <laughs> Guys, I did something bad. So I was watching YouTube and Jessica Cogan Fozard uploaded a video today of herself playing The Sims. I've previously avoided those videos of hers because I have a serious addiction to The Sims. I don't think I've ever mentioned this on my channel, but I used to actually work as a manager of a game store. And I was never much of a gamer, but the one game that I was truly addicted to was The Sims, um, which made me the laughing stock of the, of the company, but um, <laughs> no shame. I freaking love The Sims game. And I used to have it on my computer, but I wasted so much time on it that I ended up deleting it off there, like cold turkey cutting myself off The Sims because yeah, I just wasted an awful lot of time on there. But you know, sometimes, when you're in coronavirus lockdown, you've just got to embrace your vices because it just brings a little bit of joy to life. You know what I mean? So... I'm going to be ending the video here because, let's face it, I'm going to be playing Sims 4 until midnight tonight. Anyway guys, that's the video. I hope you liked it. I hope it brought you a little bit of joy. It certainly made me feel better. I think I probably would have just wallowed in self-pity all day if I hadn't made a video for you guys. So it actually encouraged me to do my hair and makeup and clean up the house a bit and make the cookies. That would not have happened if it wasn't for the video, despite how terrible they were. At least I did something and I felt productive and I feel quite cheerful now. So thank you, you guys, because doing, doing my YouTube videos and stuff keeps me occupied and lifts my mood every time, makes me feel a bit creative and happy and it means that in the long run I get to connect with you guys which is wonderful so I can't wait to chat with you all in the comments. If you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below so we can have a chat. Come and follow me on my Instagram, join us in the Midge Tips and Tricks Facebook group, we would love to have you and I will see you in the next video. Bye!